Hello, first graders. Let's do some sea turtle subtraction. I'm going to tell you some turtles about uh, some stories about sea turtles. We will practice subtracting with our hundreds chart. We need a pen to get started. Let's get started. Okay. Our story is about this mama sea turtle. She went up to the beach and she laid 100 eggs on the beach. 100. The next day, not the next day, two months later, <laughs> two months later, 10 of those eggs hatched. And those 10 little sea turtles scuttled down to the water and went swimming. Hmm. I had 100 eggs. 10 have hatched. How many are left? We can use the hundreds chart. Remember when we looked at 10 less, 10 more, one more, and one less? Well, we can do the same thing. When we subtract 10, we are looking for 10 less. So we're going to look at one spot above. We're gonna go one row above the 100. So if I go up one, that lands me on 90. Okay, so I have 100 minus 10 equals 90. Very nice. Let's try it again. Okay, this time I have 90. The next morning there were 90 eggs in the nest. 40 eggs hatched that day and all 40 little sea turtles scuttled to the ocean and swam away. Hmm, how many, how many are left? I'm starting with 90. I'm going to subtract 40. And we need to know how many does that leave? Okay, 90 minus 40. Well, if I want to do that on this chart, instead of going up just one row for the 110, I'm going to go up four rows for the four tens that make 40. So I'm going to go up four rows. One, two, three, four. There we go. Where does that land me? That lands me on 50. 50. Woohoo! Okay. The next morning, there were 50 eggs in the nest on the beach. All 50 turtles hatched and scuttled to the ocean and went swimming. I started with 50. I'm going to subtract 50. Since I'm subtracting 50, that's five tens. I'm going to go up five rows. Let's grab my marker and try it. One, two, three, four, five. There's no number there, but I think you know. One less than one or 10 less than 10 is zero. So that is my answer. There are now zero turtles left on the beach. They are all swimming in the sea. Good work. This works even when you're not using the decade numbers. Let me show you. There was another sea turtle mom and she went on the beach one day and she laid 87 eggs. Let's go find 87. Here it is. She laid 87 eggs. Ooh, that's not the right thing. I needed this one. 87 eggs. Okay, so with her 87 eggs, two months later, some of them began to hatch. 10 eggs hatched. 10 eggs, so what's 10 less than 87? 87 minus 10 equals 77. I look up just one spot, 77. The next day, there were 77 eggs in the morning. But throughout the day, 40 more eggs hatched. 77 minus 40. Do you know what I'm going to do? I bet you do. You know I need to go up 
four rows because I have four tens, four tens and 40. So I will go one, two, three, four. That landed me on 37. 77 minus 40 equals 37. Let's try one more. Or maybe one more. So there are 37 eggs. The next day, 30 eggs hatched. I know how to do that. I'm going to subtract 30. That's three tens. I will move up three tens. One, two, three. That lands me on seven. Zero tens, seven ones. The answer is seven. On the next day, the rest of the turtles, all seven, hatched, scuttled to the ocean, and went swimming. There we go. We finished. We did all of them. Before I go, though, I want you to notice something. Look here. Does the ones place change when you subtract tens? No, the ones stay the same. Maybe you won't even need to use the hundreds chart. Maybe you'll be able to do it in your head. Keep working on your subtracting, and I'll see you soon. Bye.